I had my first Bible study here in Malaysia. Yeah, yeah, really, really cool. Really enjoyed it. Really loved it. Yeah, I had it last night on Zoom. A uh, bunch of friends said, you know, are you crazy enough to join us? Um, it wasn't, wasn't crazy. It was really, really cool. So encouraging. I loved it. Thank you so much. Please, please, if there's more that I can kind of like join in and just um, be a part of the regular things that you really do here uh, in church and Bible study, I would love, I would love to uh, be a part of that. So thanks so much for that, uh, you guys. Uh, we looked at uh, the book of Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes, where um, the teacher, and this this teacher keeps saying things like meaningless, meaningless, utterly meaningless. Everything is meaningless. So that's his tag phrase. You know, everything in life, all those accomplishments. You know, you're living for, you're striving for, you're killing yourself for. No point. <laughs> it's meaningless. There's something very realistic about that. You know, coming back to Malaysia, especially. You you guys know what I mean, right? I mean, things here you cannot be too idealistic and yet and yet that kind of realism prepares you to I think make an impact to 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 be ready to deal with the challenges of every day um, I, I, <laughs> I don't know why I think um, in my mind of someone like Jolo uh, only Malaysians will get what I'm talking about you know someone like Jolo if you became a Christian you don't want Jolo going through Alpha course. You want him doing Ecclesiastes and you want him teaching the book of Ecclesiastes. You know, him saying things like, I know, um, I owned more herds and flocks than anyone in Jerusalem before me. You know, I, everything, you know, I had everything at my disposal, all the money, all the flocks and herds, I guess, all the investments, all the assets, more than anyone. I amass silver and gold for myself, treasures of kings and provinces. I became greater than anyone. And you know what? Everything's meaningless. <laughs> That's his conclusion. You know, you uh, amass all this accomplishment and wealth and even wisdom, wisdom, getting all the smarts. No point. It's meaningless. This. Don't, don't even try. And, you know, if I said that, you know, you're going to say, you know, who are you? But if someone like uh, Jolo or someone that you respect, maybe not Jolo, but <laughs> someone who is really, really rich, someone who's really, really been there and done that, said that to you, you probably go, hmm, hmm, I wonder if he has a point. And again, I find that just so helpful, just so healthy, and just so relevant to my experience here in Malaysia, I guess. But anyway, anyway, just want to say thank you. Thank you to the guys who had me over for Bible study. I loved it. I, I enjoy it. I want, to, I want to come again. Thank you so much for inviting me. Please invite me again. And uh, especially to those who've been responding to my question about this coming Sunday. And I've, been, I've been looking for a church this coming Sunday evening. That's because I'm coming back from out of state. And so I can only go for the evening service this coming Sunday. Uh, I really appreciate that. I will go to one of those suggestions you sent me. So thanks, thanks. I appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, uh, going to start the day. It's, it's, <laughs> it's only five something. I think I woke up my dad <laughs> doing this video. But I've been jet lagged, still adjusting to the time difference here. But looking forward, looking forward to today. Uh, a few exciting things happening, going out with my dad for lunch. Um, and uh, uh, cutting some grass. <laughs> Good exercise, actually, to counter all the food I've been eating. But yeah, looking forward to today. Thank you again for all the help, all the advice, all the wisdom you've been sending me. I appreciate that. Uh, take care. God bless. See you again. Bye.